Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla loses its head of AI and vision, Andridge Carpathy, a big loss for the autopilot team. Tesla allowed to sell early Model Y production units from Giga Berlin. Tesla FSD 10.13, going to internal beta, Musk says, version 10.x already mostly at version 11. And, Tesla Giga Texas transports are moving over 150 cars per day. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Andridge Carpathy, senior director in charge of AI and computer vision at Tesla, announced that he is leaving the automaker. It is a big loss for Tesla's autopilot team and self-driving effort. Carpathy joined Tesla more than five years ago as a neural net and computer vision expert. He quickly rose through the ranks and became a big part of Tesla's autopilot team and the automaker's effort to develop a full self-driving system. As Tesla expanded its effort from self-driving to broader artificial intelligence, Carpathy was promoted to senior director of AI at Tesla. He was one of the rare executives not named Musk, who was allowed to take center stage during presentations, and he was widely seen as leading Tesla when it comes to software related to AI, autopilot, and self-driving. In March, Carpathy announced that he was going on sabbatical for four months. At the time, we reported that it was worrisome, since Tesla executives taking breaks has most often resulted in them not coming back. Sure enough, Carpathy announced recently that he is leaving Tesla. The AI expert said that he doesn't know where he is going from here, but he said that he will continue to pursue his long-term passions around technical work in AI, open source and education. We had heard several rumors that Carpathy was not coming back, but we couldn't confirm it. Looks like they were true. The departure is likely going to be a big blow to Tesla's self-driving program and broader AI effort. The automaker has plenty of other smart people on the team, but Carparthy was seen as a competent leader and appeared to be well-liked across the industry. Moving to the next update, Tesla allowed to sell early Model Y production units from Giga Berlin. Just recently, it was revealed that Tesla is looking to sell some of its early Model Y production units from Gigafactory Berlin. The Brandenburg State Office for the Environment (LFU), the responsible approval authority in the matter, has stated that Tesla won't be violating any rules if it sells good quality early Model Ys to end customers. Before Tesla received its final approval to start vehicle production in Giga Berlin, the company received preliminary approvals to produce over 2,000 vehicles. The cars produced during this period were initially expected to be either used internally or scrapped, but a recent document from Tesla has revealed that the EV maker is looking to sell some early Model Ys to customers, provided that they are of good quality. As per a report from German news outlet RBB24, Tesla has justified its request to sell some of its early Model Y units with a legal argument. According to the EV maker, the final approval notice for Giga Berlin, which was issued in early March, made all previously granted partial approvals unnecessary. As a result, the ancillary provisions contained therein are no longer effective, Tesla noted. When asked by local media about Tesla's request, the LFU rejected the idea that the electric car maker was violating the requirements of the approval authority with the sale of some early Model Y units from Gigafactory Berlin. Thomas Free from the LFU explained the office's stance on the matter. Tesla is free to process bodies that were created during the period of testing the operational capability and to sell them if they are marketable, he said. Free seemed to agree with Tesla's argument that all preliminary approvals and provisions expired when Gigafactory Berlin received its final permits for vehicle production. He also highlighted that the emission control law places great emphasis on avoiding waste, which would be the case if Tesla were to discard otherwise consumer-ready vehicles just because they were produced a little bit earlier. Tesla has not indicated how many cars it produced during the time leading up to Giga Berlin's final approval, though the company noted in the recently retrieved document that about 100 early Model Y units had been scrapped. Tesla also stated 
that the majority of the vehicles that were produced before Giga Berlin's final approval have been used for internal purposes and various test purposes. Moving to the next update, Tesla FSD 10.13, going to internal beta, Musk says, version 10.x already mostly at version 11. Amidst the departure of former Tesla director of AI, Andridge Carpathy recently, Elon Musk provided an update on one of the company's most important projects, full self-driving. According to Musk, the highly anticipated FSD beta version 10.13 should enter internal beta on Thursday. With Carpathy's departure, a good number of Tesla supporters expressed their concerns that projects such as Autopilot and FSD beta may be adversely affected. Musk, however, assured Tesla owners on Twitter, noting that the progress in the development of Tesla's AI projects is ongoing. Provided that FSD beta 10.13 seconds internal beta is successful, an external beta of the advanced driver assist system should be released next week, according to the CEO. Musk noted that this upcoming version should be able to handle Chuck's complex left turn, an apparent reference to FSD beta tester Chuck Cook's challenging unprotected left turn that the full self-driving beta is yet to fully conquer. Musk also provided some insight on the release of FSD beta version 11. According to Musk, the importance of FSD beta version 11 has been reduced by the recent version 10.x releases. This means that the recent FSD beta version 10.12 and upcoming version 10.13 updates are already mostly at version 11. That being said, Musk noted that FSD beta version 11 should hopefully release at the end of August. The excitement surrounding FSD beta version 11 is notable, partly because it is believed to be the version that would incorporate a single stack. With a single stack, FSD's inner city streets driving and highway autopilot would work on the same codebase. This is a notable update from FSD beta's current iteration, so the delays in its release are understandable. While Elon Musk has been pretty conservative about FSD beta as of late, the CEO has shared some optimistic and indirect statements about the system as of late. When asked recently if the boring company's Tesla Loop fleet in Las Vegas will be using FSD soon, Musk noted that this would happen maybe later this year. Considering that the Loop system is used by the public in Las Vegas, Musk would likely only issue such a statement if he is extremely confident in the system's capabilities, even if navigating the tunnels seems like a simple task. Moving to the last update, Tesla Giga Texas transports are moving over 150 cars per day. Transports at Giga Texas are moving over 150 cars per day, Joe Tegmeyer pointed out in his update recently. Tegmeyer is one of the drone pilots that fly over Giga Texas and provide daily updates, they've been doing this since the early days of the factory's construction. According to Tegmeyer, Tesla is ramping up the Model Y production at a pretty spectacular pace. In his video description, he said the following. Model Y production ramping is noticeably hitting a new gear, with transports moving more than 150 cars per day now, and new cars filling right in behind them. North and West irrigation system installation beginning now, as we discussed in the past few videos, so it's great to see this work begin. He added that the Model Y production is nearing 1,000 cars per week and hope that Tesla will share official confirmation on these numbers soon. Car carriers are nearly constantly arriving and departing on site now, yet production is easily keeping pace. The update also included a flyover of the battery cathode plant assembly, which Joe pointed out was moving along at breakneck speed. He added that almost 60% of the skeleton is completed and that a new roof and flooring were being installed. Remarkable progress at the battery cathode plant, which is now approaching 60% steel skeleton assembly completed. In addition, crews are busy installing roof and floor decking, while other crews are trenching for utilities on the west side, he said. Giga Texas looks to be trying to catch up to Giga Shanghai. Despite the challenges in April, Tesla China has proven that it is a force to be reckoned with. A fleet of Teslas were spotted by longtime Tesla watcher, Wu Wa, and the vehicles could possibly number by the thousands.
Although Giga Texas isn't a global export hub like Giga Shanghai, Tesla's Q3 numbers will be very telling, and we think, will reflect the company's progress and growth.